Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Last time, we crossed the Makalania Woods, and I promised you a boss fight. This episode, a boss fight. But before we do that, let's follow the pathway over here. If you look at the map, there is a pathway that goes over here, and apparently... There it is. Albed Primer 15. You can't really see it. I was kind of mashing the X button. That one was pretty hard to notice. You can't really see it. I guess if you look closely, you could probably see it if you have a good camera angle. Anyway, that gives us the 15th one, which means I haven't missed any but that 11th one. Don't worry. Backtracking coming very, very soon. We will go back and get that 11th primer, which I will show. Anyway. Here we go, guys. Wait. Wait. It is here. Somewhere. What's here? What's here? Good question. Something you should see. Oh, yeah? But, Sir Oren. It won't take long. You don't know that. Bam, sucker. I love Oren's. Like, hold on. Let me just clear a path. <laughs> but without words, of course. All right, let's check it out. <laughs> Whatever it is. I don't know. It's funny, because on the map, you could see that path. But it wasn't open yet. How did he know it was there? Well, clearly he knew where he was. But what is here? What's where? Where is here that Auron knew about? I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, be prepared for boss battle. Just saying. Um, I don't think there's anything in this area. Nope, just follow Yuna. Just follow Yuna. There's nothing in this area right now, this I place. should say. It's just water, isn't it? This is what spheres are made of. Wait, what? It absorbs and preserves people's memories. Huh. Okay. That's cool. What's that? Yeah, what the hell's going on now? Uh-oh. Well... Fiends are also attracted to these places. Oh, it seems there's also fiends here. Thanks, Aaron. Thanks. I totally wanted a boss fight today. Alright, I did say I did want it, though. This is something I asked for. All right, welcome to the Sphery Morph, one of the most annoying enemies in the game. You can't censor him, it says right there at the top. Uh, basically what it does is it likes to switch its elemental. So, even though you would think to not use elemental attacks, elemental attacks really are the way to go, but you have to figure out what element his weakness is right now. I'm actually just gonna hit him with Titus. Okay, so he's water right now. Yeah, I could have waited till he attacked me. But at least now I know. Yeah, whatever. If you use the element that he is right now, it will hurt. It'll heal him. So, yeah, be careful with that. Thundara, bitch. While you are water, I will thunder you. Blue is going to be your most effective way of damage here. So, use it when you can. Yeah, see, then you'll do elemental shift. This is when you want to use an attack to, like, bait to see what his elemental attack is now. Now it's fire, so you want to use uh, ice on him. Um, let's go ahead and get Riku out here. I'm gonna have her get a, get a turn to steal. Ether, eh, not a bad item. Not too bad. Also, this is a boss. Ah, I would love to have everybody get a turn before I make Lu unleash Lulu upon this thing. I was thinking about using Lulu's limit break and saying fuck it, but I'd rather use everybody's turn before I start going limit break crazy, which I might do in this battle. Um, what did I just say he had? He had water, so using him with Blizzard. Or, I mean, he had fire, so I hit him with blizzard, sorry. I knew what it was in my head, I just didn't say it right. Suck on that, Sphery Morph. I don't know how much HP this thing has. I should have wrote that down, too. My notes are the best, by the way. I am the best note-taker that there is in this world, so... Fuck yeah. We could use... We could use Aeons, but I don't think I'm gonna... I don't think so. I'll skip on the Aeons. Riku, let's get... Who hasn't had a turn yet? Waka? Get Waka a turn. I don't think any abilities Waka can do are worth it. We could at least use Waka to attack and see what his element is. Water. Okay, so he's water again. We hit him with thunder. Wanna live my life like thunder. Alright, Kimari had a turn. Titus had a turn. Riku had a turn. Arn, I believe, is the only one that has actually, actually taken a turn. He's water. Which means thunder. Still water. Okay. Well... I will use Limit Breaks if I need to, but right now, I'm pretty sure Thundara Fury is probably going to kill him. Lulu is just that strong. Let's see what happens. 
Let's see how many of these I can get. Seven, eight. Oh my god. Is this a game over? I think this is game over for you. Destroyed. Lulu. The master of all things a destruation. Seriously. I, that boss used to give me nightmares. Now, I just fucking wrecked his shit. Suck on that, you big blob of shit. I didn't even think to, like, use my overdrives before I started that battle, but then I realized everyone had theirs, and I was like, what the fuck am I doing? Anyway, we win. <laughs> Easy. And we got a Jekt Sphere for winning. Jekt Sphere, huh? What does that mean? We'll learn soon enough. Everyone got some AP, though. That's good. I'm glad I got everybody a turn before I unleash that. We got a Moomba duo. What is that? Whoa, huh. this is old. Don't know if you can play it back. This is like Jack Betamax. Left it here ten years ago. Shit, it's even older than that. It's like Laserdisc. Wait, play did Laserdisc become before or after mm -hmm. uh, VHS? I don't remember. <laughs> That's how old I am. Somewhere around there. Anyway, spheres, they're basically like playing an old tape, like a like a you know, like a like a camcorder, basically. What are you taking? Well, you said it was going to be a long trip. We'll be seeing a lot of neat things, right? So I thought I'd record it all in this. To show to my wife and kid, you know. This is no pleasure cruise. Hey, Braska. Ain't this supposed to be a grand occasion? Where are the cheering fans, the crying women? This is it. Too many goodbyes. People think twice about leaving. If you say so. Well, it better be a lot more colorful when we come back. A parade for Braska, vanquisher of sin. <laughs> we should go. Day will break soon. Alrighty then. Huh. Nice little look back into the past. Braska, Jekt, and... And Auron. Oh, look, there's Auron, could you stand closer to him? I don't think Auron likes to be videotaped. Good. That should do it. What's the matter? Afraid I might bite. Jacked. Braska, you should take one too. It'll make a great gift for little Yuna. I suppose. Lord Braska, we shouldn't be wasting our time like this. What's the hurry, man? Uh, let me tell you what the hurry is. <laughs> Arn. <laughs> Younger Arn is like, he's just as badass, except for he didn't know better yet. You know what I mean? If he didn't know better. Those of you who know what happens What's with the point? this whole pilgrimage stuff know cruise. what I mean. I think there's more. Oh, is there? Then why the f did we have an intermission? Let's keep it going here. Keep it rolling. Oh, looks like they took a picture of this place. Hey. If you're sitting there watching this, it means you're stuck in Spira like me. You might not know when you'll get back home, but you better not be crying. Although I guess I'd understand. But you know what? There's a time when you have to stop crying and move on. You'll be fine. Remember, you're my son. And, well, uh, never mind, I'm no good at these things. Just say you love him. How hard is it? He's not even sitting right in front of you. It's easy to say when they're not actually there. Anyways... I believe in you. Be good. There you go. That's about as good as he's going to get. Goodbye. <laughs> Jacked. Well, even though he's such a perfect douchey guy as a voice actor he and a person. serious. But it was too late. He tried to make he good. He was serious. Jacked. Had already accepted his fate. His fate? Jacked he. He was always talking about going home to Xanarkand. That's why he took all those pictures. To show them to you when he returned. But as he journeyed with us, 
and came to understand Spira and Braska's resolve. It happened gradually, but Jekt changed. He decided he would join Braska in his fight against Sin. So then, he gave up going home? That was his decision. I guess I understood. My old man, he knew there was no way back home, back to Xanarkand. He wanted to go home, but he knew he couldn't. He couldn't go on until he accepted it. Besides, even if he had found a way back, I don't think he would have left his friends behind before their journey was complete. All right, let's go, guys. Maybe I had to start accepting my own fate. But do you really know what that means? Anyway, Jex Sphere. Spheres that document Jex's journeys are hidden all over Spira. Defeating the Sphere Morph has unlocked the seals that once bound the spheres. Find them. Aran has learned the overdrive shooting star. So Aran got a new overdrive. That's cool. Anyways, that's how you learn all of Aran's overdrives. You actually have to find all of the Jex spheres in Wait. the game. Hold on. Yeah? Jekt loved you. Oh, come on, please. He just didn't know how to express it, he said. Enough about my old man, okay? You're gonna make me cry. I just thought you should know. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Thanks under your breath so we can't hear you. Speak up, boy. Aaron could use a couple thankses here and there. Might make him smile for once. Alright, so now that we defeated the Sphere Morph, and we have unlocked the Jex Spheres, this is the moment, guys. We're gonna backtrack, and we are going to do the most epic backtrack ever. We're going all the way back to Besaid. Yeah, the beginning, where we started this shit. Alright, so, the reason why we're doing this now and I highly recommend this if you're playing the PAL and or PS3 version, Vita, whatever you're playing, even PS4, which comes out later. I'm sure it's the same version. I highly recommend this now because later in the game, in Besaid, you will not be able to pick up the Jex Sphere there until, like, you defeat something so hard that it requires you to, like, max out your Sphere Grids. So if you want Auron's final limit break before you have to max out Sphere Grids... I highly, highly, highly recommend you go back and get all the Jex Spheres right now, or at least that one. But pretty much all the Jex Spheres are along the way. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to meet you at all the spots we're stopping. First one being the beginning of this forest is actually where the first Jex Sphere is. So I'll meet you at the very beginning of the Makalania Forest. You'll know it when you see it. Okay, so we're back here at the beginning of the Makalania Woods, and the first Jex Sphere that we can pick up is actually right here. Take a look. What's he gonna say this time? Now, if you think about it logically, we're technically backtracking, so we may be backtracking back through when Braska and Jack and all them first met and stuff. See, look. Who are you? Here you go. Good example right here. You are the one they call Jack. The man from Xanarkin, are you not? What of it? Watch your tongue, Knave. Ah, my apologies. I am Braska, a summoner. I've come to take you from this place. Mm, sounds sweet. What's the catch? <laughs> that easy to see, was it? I soon leave on a pilgrimage. To Xanarkand. Seriously? Hm. I would like you to join us. It will be a dangerous trip. Yet, if we do reach Xanarkand, my prayers will be answered, and you will be able to go home, we think. What say you? Great, let's go! Hm. So quick. Anything to get out of here. Then it's settled. But I must protest. This drunkard, a guardian? Hey! 
You want to step in here and say that? What does it matter? No one truly believes that I, a fallen summoner wed to an Albed, could possibly defeat Sin. This is what they say. No one expects us to succeed. Braska, sir. <laughs> Let's show them they're wrong. A fallen summoner, a man from Xanarkin, and a warrior monk doomed to obscurity for refusing the hand of the priest's daughter. What delightful irony it would be if we defeated Sin. Stop gabbing and get me out of here. I like this guard. He's just sitting there watching this whole conversation. Silent. <sighs> Free at last. Now, Jekt. I am in your hands until we reach Xanarkand. Right, right. So, what's a summoner anyway? <laughs> so, what's a summoner? What's a summoner? All right, so we got the first Jack Sphere, or at least the second one, technically. That's here in Macalania Woods. Now, the the next one, I believe, is actually in the Thunder Plains, so I'll meet you in the Thunder Plains when we get to it. Okay, we're over here on the southern part of the Thunder Plains, and over here by this, uh, what do you call it, Lightning Rod, or whatever these things are called? Rod, Lightning Rod Towers, or whatever. Here's the next Jack Sphere. Told you it was here in the Thunder Plains. Let's take a look, shall we? <sighs> hey, hold it steady! Why am I doing this? I guess Aaron's the what one you see there, my recording Lord. now. Oh, I was just thinking. This is important. No fooling around. You're gonna spoil it. What are we spoiling? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Looks like Jack got fucking shocked. Nice. Are you alright? Now there's a scene for posterity. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jeez, Broska, it wasn't that funny. What if he had died? Jeez, Aaron already learned his next overdrive? Good lord. Vanishing Blade? He only needed to find two more Jack Spheres for that? That's ridiculous. Anyway. So now that we found the Thunder Plains one, I believe the next one will be, I don't know, back on the Moonflow, I think? I don't know. I'll just meet you with the next one. Okay, so there's actually a quick pit stop I need to make here in Guado Salam. We're over here by the Far Plain, right? I want to actually go in the Far Plain real quick because there's actually an item there that we can get now that we've done all the scenes and stuff that were here. I could have actually did this after we went to the Thunder Plains. I just kind of forgot we could do it now. Anyway, if you go into the Far Plain... You can now... Actually, first of all, you can go over here and talk to Lulu again for a quick little scene. No one there? She's not appearing. She who? Who is it? None of your business. Sorry. <sighs> Mother? No, it's not your fault. Why aren't you here? Is it your mama? And then she... You I thought she was dead, maybe? Hmm. Anyway, that's not what we came here for other than the small little scene. We came here for this treasure chest, which is... The Venus Crest. Now, I told you we ain't gonna be able to use those crests till later with those ultimate weapons, but for now, it's nice to grab that stuff as we go along instead of having to go backtrack everywhere later. Anyway, um, now I'm gonna meet you with the next Jack Sphere, which is by the Moonflow. Alright, so if you come back to the Moonflow, you can ride Zeshupuff back across to the South Bank, and you can pick up this Jack Sphere, which is over here by the tent. Take a look. What part of their adventure is this? Well, I mean. I'm assuming they're going to be at the moon flow, but what's going to happen? Look how pretty it is. So pretty. No words? No words needed, I guess. <laughs> I like Jack over there just taking a nap. The place is so peaceful. I can what sleep are you here. Shooting me for? So you don't do anything stupid again. I can't believe you attacked that shoe puff. Lord Braska had to pay the handler for damages. 
from his own travel money. I said I was sorry. It's never gonna happen again. I promise. Ah, a promise. Which you'll forget come tomorrow. <laughs> Oren, please, he did apologize. He knows he was wrong. That's it. Only thing I drink from now on is Shupoff milk. You're sure? We're on a journey to fight Sin and save Spira, right? If I keep screwing up and making a fool of myself, my wife and kid are never gonna forgive me. That's on the record. We got that shit recorded. The shizzle. Yeah, I remember we did hear about that story before, how Jack attacks the shoe puff, and that's why the shoe puff has the big gash scar on its leg. Anyway, um, I believe I'll meet you... Actually, the next thing I'm going to meet you at is Jose Temple. So, yeah. Back on the road to the Temple of Jose, because we missed the stupid primer, god damn it. On the road to the Temple of Jose, where is the primer that I missed, motherfucker? On the road to the Temple of Jose, I wanna get the fucking primer that I missed. Oh, where the hell is the primer that I missed? I don't recall, I don't recall. <sighs> well, what I do recall, regardless of that, is that if we go in here, it's not gonna matter now, but it's an item we can grab regardless. Over here at Jose Temple, by the way. Uh, we can go in here and grab this. Okay, I completely whiffed on it and went to the thing. There's a treasure chest back here. Switch hitter, which I already bought one of, so yay for me. Now, where the fudge is the damn Albed Primer? I know there's one here. Did I, can I, uh, I, it better be here, damn it. Where the fudge is it? Where are you, fudger? Is it along the path? The road to the Temple Joe's? Maybe it is, and I just didn't see it. Um, um, um. Oh! Okay. Over here on the freaking Jose High Road. I thought it was by the Jose Temple. Well, whatever. Here it is. Fucking Albed Primer 11. Son of a bitch. Alright, now. Back to the freaking Jekt Sphere search. Which actually requires us to keep going back to Mushroom Rock Road now. By the way, over here on the area where we had Operation Meehan, we weren't able to actually go back from here before, but now, I believe, we can climb up these boxes and fight random battles. No, that's not what I wanted to do at all, but now you can climb over the boxes. Before these boxes weren't here, so you couldn't climb over them. And yes, I know we're showing a battle here, but yeah, you can climb over here and boom. Now you can continue back all the way back further. You're not stuck at a... Uh, not being able to go this way. I believe if you go to Makalania and come back here, that's when the boxes are there. So anyway, now we're going back to Mushroom Rock Road. Also, wait, there's a treasure chest here. Hey, look, some softs. Soft? Okay, so we had to backtrack all the way the fuck over here to where the elevator is, where, where Operation Meehan was. Yes, you had to go all the way around because you're out of luck. It's not working anymore. Stop relying on Machina. Use your feet a little. Yes, yeah, suck my dick, bro. Anyway, the freaking sphere's over here by the save point. And this one's not just a Jack sphere, it's an Auron sphere. What does that mean? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's watch and see what that even means. Auron sphere. What's so special about an Auron sphere? Thanks, Thanks for, for everything, everything Kenok. I know I don't, I don't need, need to tell, tell you this, this but, but guard Lord, Lord Brasco well. well. That I will. And, and you'll be busy, busy too. too. I heard they made you second in command. <sighs> you know that promotion was meant for you. You were always the better one, even until the end. You make it sound as if I was going off to die or something. I will see you again. Yes. Well then. Going already? <laughs> You will tell me about Zanakin when you return, won't you? <laughs> Farewell. Hmm. Keynock, huh? I always thought that was a pretty cool little detail. Learn a bit, a little bit about Keynock and how he rose up since Auron didn't. Anyway, 
All right, now the next sphere is actually back on the Meehan High Road, so I'll meet you over there. All right, so we're all the way down here on the old road of the Meehan High Road, and here is the next check sphere. Let's take a look, shall we? Who do we have today? Probably gonna be them crossing the Meehan High Road. What do you think? It's pretty much been location specific every time. Giant yep. fiend that attacks Chocobots. <laughs> What's it waiting for? Hey, come out and fight! Uh, I told you this was a waste of time. Hey, come on! It's the right thing to do. Everyone's depending on us. Besides, it's good practice. <laughs> I guess you're right. Well then... Ha! There it is! Aaron, let's get him! Right. Get him! It's funny that that's why Aaron laughed at that line that Titus said earlier on in the game. The right thing to do. Silly, but very effective. All right, so we're done here on that one. Now let's head back to Luca. Yep, Luca, here we come. All right, so we're back here in Luca. The reason why we're here, Jack Sphere, right near the locker rooms of the Blitzball place. So here we go, another Jack Sphere taking a look. Is this a place where Jack got to play some Blitzball finally, or what? I wonder. Let's find out. Come on, come on, load it up. It's just a bird. Hey, Aaron, did you get that last match? Yeah, but I don't understand why you wanted me to. Didn't you say you have Blitzball in your Xanarkand? Not a sportsman, are ya? Working on your form? My form don't need no work. I'm the great jet. It's for my kid. Your son plays Blitzball? Yeah, and he wants to beat his old man bad. Once I told him to give it up, he didn't speak to me for a week. Wonder what he's doing now. I hope he got bigger and put on some muscle. Hey, what's the big idea? Stop shooting. You're the one that wanted to record everything, man. You wanted to record the journey, homie. Anyway, that's a pretty cool one, I think. Clearly he got to play some Blitzball. Anyway, the other thing we're here for, we're actually here for two reasons, which is good. Head into the Aurox locker room, and this is actually available once you're done in Luka, but I didn't grab this yet. I believe it's this locker? Yes, the Jupiter Crest. So there you go. I believe that one is for Waka. Anyway, now we're done here. Let's go to the next Jack Sphere, which I believe is um, somewhere. Actually, I think it's on a boat. Actually, I should probably just show all this from here on, or at least this first part, because uh, now that we're at this point in the game, we can actually, like, we could cross the shoe puff, and we could get back across the, the, the Meehan High Road or whatever. We can also get back on the ferry that brought us here to Luka in the first place. So basically, we can go back to Kilika and Besaid, which I told you we're going to go all the way back to Besaid, and this is the point at which in the game you can do so. And I, I'll reiterate, I highly recommend you do this if you want to get all of RN's Limit Breaks. At least if you want to get them before you have to max out Sphere Grids. Because seriously, maxing out Sphere Grids is a long ways away. Not that RN's Limit Breaks are exactly, or Overdrives are exactly like, make or break the game. But they will help. I mean, they are helpful. And it'd be nice to get 100% completion even just for me. Oh, this is the military one. Okay. Wrong doc. Sorry. Did I go the long way? I think I went the long way. That's my bad. <sighs> just taking the long, leisurely stroll around Luca. We just haven't been here in a while. It's nice to see the old place. You know what I'm saying? I believe this is it? Maybe? Hopefully? Yeah. Go to Kilika. Here we go. Now, it should be mentioned, this is the boat we took to get to Luka in the first place from Kilika. I believe if you have not learned the Jack shot yet, you can still learn it here. The Blitzball right here will be here, but I don't think it's here for me, or it's not there for me because 
we've already uh, learned it or whatever. Now, is this the boat where we can get do the the seagull game? There's a seagull. There's a game on one of these boats where you can count all the seagulls you see, and you'll get an item. I just don't remember who or how you what. And this might not be the right boat. Anyway, let me just. Uh, yeah, if you need to get continue on to the next place, you just go downstairs, and it'll let you go to the next town you want to go to. And once we're back here in Kilika, I believe there's nothing we really need to do here specifically, unless you want to talk to people. But you just go back on the boat and go to be saved. And technically, you won't be on the same boat. You'll be on the other boat that took you to be saved the or er, took you from be saved. So you'll be on the other boat. Now, this other boat is actually where you will find one of the Jack Spheres. Surprisingly enough. But first, let the game load. Game load. Game load. I like the dolphins following the boat. That's pretty cool. Anyway, the Jack Sphere is where. And which guy does the, the seagull thing? Is it you? I don't remember which guy does the seagull game. Is it you up here in front? Pro Blitzer. You wouldn't happen to be a Blitzer, would you? No? Okay. Who does the seagull game? Wait, what? I wonder if they're related. I'd say they're married. Don't give me such nonsense. Bitch, you go talk to him, then you don't believe me. Where the hell is the person that does the seagull game? Is it this bitch? Brought the shoreline station down the merchants. Okay. Anyway, I believe the sphere we're looking for is up here now, maybe? Uh-huh. Um, now I'm not entirely sure I know where the sphere is. I thought it was up here. Did I miss the sphere? Fuck, I might need to cut and meet you when I find it. Because it might be... Oh, no, it's right here. Here you go. Never mind. No cutting. Here it is. I'm tripping. We found it. Don't you worry, guys. Don't you worry. On the boat to the temple of Besaid. After you get that Aeon from Besaid, where are we going? Back the way we came. Then we go north from Bavel and climb Mount Gagazet. Beyond it lies Sanarkand. Sanarkand, huh? It's been in ruins for a thousand years, right? So the legends say. No one knows for sure. It still could be your Xanarkand. Thanks for trying, Oren. It's funny how they keep saying, so the legends say, like nobody's been to Xanarkand. <sighs> I thought if I went with you guys, I might find a way to go back. But it's not that easy. I'm sorry. No need to apologize, Broska. It's not your fault. I should be thinking about fighting Sin now anyway. Xanarkin can wait. But I will find my way back. Be careful, Jekt. Hey, I'll be alright. You're the one that should be careful. Wouldn't want your little girl to cry. She'll be alright. She's strong. Like her mother was. Little Uni, she's so strong, yes. All right, I'm not sure who does that little seagull mini game I keep mentioning, but whatever. Anyway, I'll figure out who that is in the mean, in you know, off screen time. Let's go to Besaid already. Oh, the village of Besaid, how long ago we were here. Anyways, this will do it right here. The last Jack Sphere that we came back to get. The one that you will not be able to get later in the game easily if you don't come back and get it now. Here we go. Take it a look. What do we have here? Smallest heap of huts I ever seen. Now, that looks like a fine place to live. Hmm. Oren. My lord. When this is over, could you bring Yuna here? I want her to lead a life far away from this conflict. You have my word. I will bring her here. Thank you, Oren. You're a good friend. What are you guys doing? Let's go! I'm so hungry I could eat a shoe puff whole. <laughs> Sorry. Well, let's go then. 
interesting that Braska had asked Aaron to bring Yuna here, and that's how Yuna ended up here on Besaid, instead of living in Bavel, where Braska was from. At least I think that's where Braska was from. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. The other thing, and then, oh, and obviously, um, you know, Jekt must have asked Aaron to lo look after Titus as well. So there you go. But the other thing I want to mention is in that flashback, you'd think it would have been really cool if they had like a little Waka and a little Lulu in the shot somewhere. Maybe just like as an Easter egg if you notice them standing there in the village. That would have been cool. Anyway, alright. That's going to wrap up this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy X. That's, our backtrack is done. In the next episode, I will meet you all the way back in Makalania. Yep. I will have to do it. But it is, I took the time to come back here. I got to take the time to go back again. So, yay for that. Peace.